In this video, we're going to see how to change the ISIS administrator template in Joomla to dark mode. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Watch Me Work live stream number 106 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel. Appreciate uh, everyone here. Hello in chat, uh, Imran and Bjorn and others that... Uh, we're waiting there. If uh, you're watching this live, do say hi in chat and give the video a like. And uh, after we uh, see this dark mode stuff, we'll hang out and catch up. It's been a week since I was live. All right. Uh, today's video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will help you manage one or multiple Joomla sites, saving you time and money. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA to get your first month free. Okay, hello Chuck. Hey, everybody's blue this morning in chat. Oh, it's because you're all moderators. So many moderators are on this channel. All right, let's cut to the chase here. Oh, that's chat on the right. Don't want that. Right computer screen. I will select from my collection of glasses here. Now, shout out to Bjorn, who is in chat. Check out his site, joomlaforever.com. This is where I got the idea for today's topic. I'll paste that in chat. Description, the link is also in the video. Uh, also in the video description below. Uh, and he's got some instructions here on how to find the information for changing the back end of your Joomla site if you're using ISIS template into dark mode. So what we're going to do here is uh, go to the basic Joomla com site let's log into the back end forward slash administrator do, do, do. okay and what we want to do is change this template so that it's dark mode so let's go back to joomla forever when you go to that site you're going to scroll down and uh, read your different information about things and then you'll get how to apply the override and to apply the override, excuse me, I step out of screen for a second. We're going to go to the uh, GitHub for Alexi. Now that's not his whole full name. What is his full name? I had that. It's uh, it's in the video description below as well. It's just escaping me now. Uh, but what you'll find here on this GitHub, there's uh, a number of files. What we really want here is the custom CSS file. All right. And we're going to open that up. Now, uh, check this out here. Luca, good to see you. Hello, William. Chuck, I think I said Chuck before. Uh, so here, 2,455 lines of CSS, which will override the CSS in, uh, in, for ISIS. Now, if you want to try to select this, you can, you have to go all the way down. It's a little bit slow. So what I would do is uh, right here, click raw when you click raw you get the raw file here that just lets you do control a and copy now back to our joomla sites let's go to extensions templates and templates all right now here we're viewing the site templates here we want to click on administrator to view the administrator template and then we are going to go to ISIS details and files. Now, in order to overwrite the CSS in a um, in a template in in the ISIS template, or this works for Protostar as well. In this case, uh, you want to go to the CSS folder and add a file called custom.css. To do that in the back end of Joomla, here we can go new file. Click the folder where you want the new file to go. And we're going to type custom, C-U-S-T-O-M. And over here, we're going to select the file type. It will be CSS. And we'll go create. Now you see here, we go right into the new file we've created. CSS, custom.css. And this uh, CSS that we've just pasted there, we will go control V paste that all in there. Now I'm going to go save and it goes to dark mode. Now when I practice this, yes, I did practice this. 
when I practiced this yesterday, it didn't automatically go into dark mode. I had to refresh the cache on the browser. I do control shift and F5, control shift R, control shift R to refresh the cast. Um, uh, let's see uh, what's happening in chat here. It's over, uh, over right. Most of ISIS, but not all like J site map, um, in chat there. So now we have got the template here um in isis in the back uh, uh in dark mode now let's just check let's pop over to the web hosting control panel for this and we will go to uh, file manager and we're going to go to administrator templates isis css and there is our custom css file that we just did uh we can even edit it there and uh, so that's just another way if you're not going to use the method that's right inside joomla for adding the file you can always put custom.css inside the um, css folder in administrator templates isis css okay so let's just close that and let's check out how this looks now i'm going to uh, close the file here I do find this uh, sometimes a little bit too uh, a little bit too dark in some of the parts, but uh, uh, for instance, this red is kind of uh, a little bit dark here, and it is using gray, but we can always change things like that, and we'll check that out. Uh, here, this is more white. Let's just go home and have a look at this. Gotta love the orange there. We got the per the blue for the links, uh, different information, post info. Uh, their uh, post uh, installation messages. Let's see what the article manager looks like. Much easier on the eyes. And um, you know, you can always continue to adjust uh, the CSS to your liking using this core, this base thing that we have gotten from uh, Alec. Let's check it out here. Let's go. We've got his website right here it is. We'll get his name up here. Give him proper credit. Alexei uh, Morozov. I've probably not pronounced that properly, but you could always check out his site by getting to the link there. Uh, and I should post the link to the GitHub in, uh, in there too for you as well in chat. Let's just do that for those of you that were following along. All right, so now if there's some things that we want to tweak, why don't we just tweak that? Uh, for instance, this looks like even it's a little bit smaller. It seems smaller to my eyes. I might be wrong just because of things being changed. Uh, let's right click here and inspect element. And let's see here. I want to change, I want to change the font size for this. Let's go body, just for this whole area, maybe head. Oh, let's go all the way up here on the left-hand side here. Do, 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 header, do, 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 do. That looks like the whole thing. No, that. Oh, well, let's do it for this div class here. Top, padding, container main. What if we change the font size here? Let's go font size. Let's go 50 pixels to make sure we're changing the right thing. Oh, we're changing the right thing. Let's go one REM, one REM. There you go. That's a little bit bigger. So what you can do is start to uh, fiddle around with different elements here and make this just really the way that you like. And we've looked at other templates, uh, other in other tutorials, how to customize the back end of your site. Also on uh, Joomla Forever, you could also check out a link to some of those things uh, by going to Bjorn's site here, adding custom CSS to your backend template. He's got a link to a number of things. Some of these uh, reference, uh, at least one of my videos there, adding modules and also how to change buttons in the backend. So lots of helpful information there at joomlaforever.com, that page that I shared. Uh, but back here, that's a good size. So I'm going to keep that. How's the uh, 
color. I'm not sure if the blue is the easiest for me, but I see that's so first of all, I'm going to copy this uh, CSS that I want to change the size of the font to. And in this case, I'm going to go back to custom.css in my control panel. And I will put this right at the bottom because the cascading part is even if you have the same, even if you have uh, multiple rules for changing the same element, it's the last one that sticks. So down in the bottom right, I'm going to put that there. And uh, let's see here. Bjorn has said, uh, uh, see his article. Oh, okay, see your article from today. We will check that out. All right, let's go back and do a little bit more changing here. We don't really need to see the alias too badly. It is kind of tiny, though. So let's find a bit of uh, here, small. Great. Okay, there's the alias. And where's the alias? Oh, dot small, font size 11. Oh, and you can't see that because that's behind my picture. I'm looking down here. It's font size 11. Let's change that to 0.8 rem. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I like that. Okay. And we're going to put the CSS down at the end here. Control V. And we will save that. What else can we change here that's not working for you? Like I said, this blue is not super friendly for my particular eyes. So let's go with uh, select the color down here. I wonder if orange would be too much there. Oh, I like that. I like the orange. Of course, you guys aren't surprised at that. So let's go to the toggle sidebar button. And that's also just changing the links for everything. Um, in fact, let's just refresh this because I want to double check that I'm changing the right thing there. Let's go here, div class small, font size, there's what I want to change to, for the font size. That's 0.8 rem color. We'll start out with Alice blue, font size, color. Yeah, that changed that to white links there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to check the orange. So it's really nice that this CSS does all the heavy lifting at first in order to make your, um, uh, in order to get most of the things changed. Now, uh, one word that we should mention here is that, uh, what's the word that we should mention here? Oh, is that this is the CSS applied in the back end. There may be extensions that use their own CSS and do not show up in keeping with this theme. Uh, let's check some out here. I think Akiba Backup does fit. Oh, okay, so here this is bright. I don't know if Akiba Backup has a dark mode. Uh, most of the things are here, uh, but look, you could always change that. Let's customize it. Let's inspect and let's see down the right hand side body. No, that's not what we want to change. Is it panel? There we go. Yes, panel. Now, hmm, let's see if this works. Let's make the panel background by selecting that color. Let's go with the gray. Oh, there you go. That's an easy fix. And that's all we'll change. Now, if we take this CSS and put it inside, whoops, a daisy, and go Control V, put that 
down here, all we've changed is the background color. So let's take these things out. Let's go save and refresh and see if that's where we want it to make that change. Yes, it is. So if you want to make other things consistent with the dark mode in the back, you can just slowly go through and change the CSS to how you would like it. Uh, and Bjorn says, yes, there are extensions. I think you mean, yes, there are extensions that still need the color change. So if you were doing something, making a dark theme for the back end of your site, and you're going to use this on client sites, you just want to slowly uh, work up something custom so that they could go and see. Uh, you could even customize, do a dark, uh, dark mode that's consistent with your branding colors. Um, so let's see, what else have we got here? Let's see, Sitemap Pro. Okay, so we got some brightness happening there. So it would be a work in progress. ACY mailing. Yeah, they've got their thing happening there. Uh, banners is core, so I imagine it's going to work fine. If we go into test banner. Yes, because it's using the CSS that's in uh, comes with the template. Uh, but look at the text now. Oh yes, for Akiba, yeah. Yeah, for for instance with Akiba backup that's kind of hard to read so we would want to keep changing things uh and changing what the uh let's see what this text is here yeah it would just be a work in progress let's see here yeah here's color down here we would want to change this to maybe white and then down here we a kiba render class um we would select that, copy that, and go to our custom CSS. Okay, Control V, put an end on the uh, closing bracket there, or a right brace, and save and refresh, and this will be much easier to read. Other components that see what's going on. Community Builder. Okay, Community Builder sort of is. We got these bright squares here. So there would be some changing to put in there. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, lots of things to uh, tweak there. What else have we got here? JCE Editor. The JCE editor works pretty well here. It looks good on that. Uh, options manager, let's check that out. Oh yeah, options manager looks like it is using uh, the CSS from the admin template. That's good. One last one, R2H image manager. <coughs> and there's one that's very bright. But again, we could do this. Could select here's the background color for what is that oh just for that side we don't want that let's go up to the top here we go to body there's background color for body catcher right at the beginning there and um, we can uh, uh, select uh, a gray or something Anyways, yes, all the core is there. Anything that is core, right, Bjorn points out in the chat, anything that is core in Joomla will work with this. And then as you go with your extensions, you can always customize and change things over. Just make sure that you're putting the CSS in a custom CSS folder. Let me go up here and check out this uh, link that Bjorn has shared as article from today. Do, 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 click on it again. Oh, I'll change the font color before you change the background to black. Yeah, that would be good. Probably a little bit easier to see things. Okay, there we go. The link open there. How to add styles in Joomla without HTML code and JCE editor. Oh, cool. Bjorn's very busy on his Joomla Forever site.
Excellent. I was looking, uh, just looking at Sorcerer uh, as well. Oh, little typo there, Bjorn. It's S O U R C E R E R. Um, yes, the custom.css file, not just the folder. That's where the stuff, thing, the things go. Yeah, like I showed. Um, yes, how to uh, just uh, put uh, CSS in uh, using Sorcerer and making things, uh, putting it sort of not in line, because that's not in line, but putting it right on the page itself instead of another call to a custom file. We'll be looking at that at some point in the future. Okay. Is that how, uh, Sorcerer, is that how Regular Lab spells it? Let's go and see here. Let's pop me back on here. Extensions. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, it is. O U R for the source. As opposed to sorcerer, the magician. Okay. Well, uh, we can keep playing around with this. That's pretty much the basics. Now, let's keep chatting and catching up on other things you might have uh, happening. Oh, the screen is blank. Okay. Why is the right screen? Why is that blank? Oh, I turned off the wrong thing. I tried to turn on my camera. <laughs> I tried to turn on my camera and I uh, clicked on the wrong icon. I'm back. Uh, yes, thanks for catching that, Imran. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll continue to hang out, but uh, maybe that is just what you are here for, to see how to do the dark mode stuff. So if you are here just for that, and you're going to be taking off soon, I'm not kicking you out, but I do appreciate your support of this channel. Uh, if it was this was helpful, please subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications. And uh, next time, uh, until the next time, enjoy your dreamless sights, and God bless. But hello, everyone. Yes, that was real dark. <laughs> yeah, we really went dark mode. Super dark mode. All right, so what is, uh, what's new, everybody? Bjorn showed what he's been working on. Um, I have uh, been keeping busy on a little project here and all my regular projects. Imra needs help. Go ahead and ask in the chat there, Imra, and we'll see if we can help you. Oh, what is uh, what else is happening here around Cybersoft World Headquarter? My desk is a little bit of a mess just because I've been uh, staying up late, which is usual, uh, doing some videoing and uh, have things around. So I've fallen behind a little bit. But uh, and I did not finish the month with an empty inbox. Ivor, yes, Joomla 4 Beta 7 and Joomla 3.10 Alpha 5 are here. Oh, William's been fighting with Google domains in 1 and 1, but you got it resolved. Okay, good. Uh, I think I've told you guys I had terrible experience with 1 and 1 I uh, changed the... I changed the server... No, the name servers on a domain... And instead of one and one changing them, they added them. So then there was the old name servers and the new name servers, and it created quite a, an issue. Chuck is redoing the theater site. They got awesome, very nice donation, five figures. You might get paid for your work. Wow! Woohoo! There's nothing like work that pays. That's great, Chuck. That is, oh, I'm excited for you. Uh, you need to edit the front end registration form. You need to omit the profile details section of the form. How can you do that? Oh, okay, well, let's check that out. Let's go to uh, basic Joomla. And I think forward slash login. Yeah, all right. So sign up. Now, you need to edit the front end. You need to omit profile details. Oh, this is not what you're... Uh, you need to the front end. 
Yes, yeah, so, um, uh, let's see, uh, you need to edit the front end registration form. So this is the front end registration form. I don't, oh, now that I'm also using community builder here. Why don't we do this? Let's go to uh, nosecrets.basicjuma.com. All right, so now, forgot your password, log in. Ooh, I do not have registration turned on in here, so let's do that, forward slash administrator. All right, we'll go down to here. Yes. Okay, let's go to system global configuration. Um, no, let's go users manage. Go to options. Um, t -t 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 allow you user registration. Yes, save preview and then create an account all right so what exactly is it that uh, so you let me just read up here man I'm so happy that for that Chuck's gonna get paid you, you're only gonna get paid if you ask for money too though Chuck Ah, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Omit the profile sections of the form. I'm not sure what the profile section of the form is. We've got name, username. <laughs> he was flabbergasted. Ah. <laughs> uh. Where is the user profile section? Are you talking about after you're logged in? Yeah, that's the that's the challenge. Hey, I just had to, I just helped someone close down a site last week. The um, uh, the the fellow retired. He's not selling his business. He just retired. He's closing down his business about 15 years ago. Um. He told I was meeting with him. He said he was going to go full bore into yellow pages, and really give it a try for the year. So I said, "Well, have you paid yet?" And he said, "No." So I showed him how little traffic he was actually getting uh, in yellow pages. Anyways, I showed him how to do Google ads. Saved him like sixteen hundred bucks a month. I said, "You know, for what he was going to pay?" I said, "You know, I think he was paying like eighteen thousand a year." I said, "You know, for eighteen thousand a year, I will wash your truck once a month, and you will get." Uh, more out of the money anyways so but so I saved him a ton of money but then after that whenever it came to working on the site it was always he was very very cheap and also um, would uh, everything he asked me to do he said well you should if you just put an article on there about this it should take you half an hour everything he thought should take half an hour so man save the guy so much money but uh, he still did not he just did not see um, he just still did not see uh, the benefit of um, of the web stuff, I guess. So, all right, uh, to, to, to Google, yeah, Google. My business is a game changer too. Yes, I just bought a system, a system to uh, find leads in um, Google business pages. Uh, and I'd be meaning to put that out there uh, through the Slack channel to see if anyone wants. There's another thing that you can sign up for, and I thought uh, if you, uh, that we can remember. I don't want to make money off you. I want to make money with you. Another tool that you could maybe use for managing Google sites. It uh, was it on AppSumo? No, it was not. It was um, something else. Uh, Blaster Suite. Yes, JVZoo. Yes. I got that. Did you get that, Chuck? Um, do, do, do. Let's see what Bjorn's clicking on here. 
There's the contact form. He's posted for something. Well, check. Don't think about it because, well, I mean, if you want to get yourself, but uh, I bought the level. Did I buy the level or did it just come with the agency level? So I can create a profile for you and you can check it out. And um, yeah, I just have been, uh, I just been wanting to put something down just for uh, information for people that want to do, do stuff like that. Uh, how we'll sort out billing and sharing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so you looked at, yeah, there's lots of people doing that. Yeah. Um, I just liked it too, because for your existing, I, I like it too, for my existing clients. Uh, there was also a nice interface in there too, that you could actually manage Google ba business pages right from it. So yeah, I like that one. Okay. So let's get back to, um, Imran's thing. Uh, Imran, is it after you're logged in that it's the profile you're trying to not see? Let's see. Let's log in here. Is it this profile information you're trying to get rid of? And while we're doing that, Ivers got a link here. Best free DNS servers. Cool. DNS explained. Excellent. So DNS servers to use in, yes, uh, Google public DNS. If you set your uh, DNS server to 888, I think 888 is 111 as well. Uh, these are things that you can set your server to. I think you can probably set it on your own. Uh, oh, Cloudflare is fast. Oh, the registration form is coming in a very long page. Okay. So you actually mean when you are signing up, it's got lots of items. All right. So let's log out. See, all we have here, are you, um, if we go to create an account, all we have here are six fields, confirm email, password, username. So I wonder, yeah, I wonder if maybe or it could be also job social, possibly. Um, what I would do is, for instance, let's go back to, okay, so this is Community Builder. If I right click and inspect the CSS for this, um, Uh, yes, so if I turn off my camera here, right screen capture, webcam. And when I right click on this and I go down and I look at the CSS, I mouse over in the bottom right hand corner and I see that the CSS is coming from a file in COM Profiler plugin. So that's Community Builder. Um, so yeah, it could be community builder, it could be job social, it could be some other membership thing. This is probably a site that you've used. Uh, uh, this is probably a site that you have used that you've picked up for a client, right? And that you're just going with, um, that you're working with something that was handed to you. So in that case, what you want to do is find out what's managing the membership, go in and make the fields uh, not required. And um, let's see here. So you can you guys say this, so this we're all kind of over the place here, but best free DNS servers, uh, all connect uh, from the sort of this site you shared. 888, I think I'm using 1111. Oh, 888, was there? Open DNS. Hmm. You know, there's, uh, I'll tell you, there's a site that uh, my, my friend Rick has. He had uh, one of those countdowns that pops up on the, um, uh, 
to show, say, hey, here's a special code for 10 minutes to order this course, and then it starts the countdown. And the one service he was using, which was uh, Power, P-O-W-R, the countdown was not showing up for like three or four seconds after the page load. So we've been trying elfsite.com, and it is super fast. And Imran, yours is a pure Joomla registration form. Um, okay. And I guess, uh, Imran, you're not allowed to share the link for us to take a look and see. Um, let's take a look at it here. So. All right. Um, I'll talk, thinking of those counters, I'll show you a little site I whipped together here. Didn't exactly whip it together. Part of a refugee sponsorship group here in um, my community, and so I uh, we want. There's a silent auction that we're having, so uh, we created this site, and I have people. There are people who have been adding content to the articles, um, and so. Um, some of the things that are here uh, so if we go to a silent auction i used raxo to show each 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 uh, auction item is its own article i used raxo just to line up things nicely for people to click on and then when you go to one of these things to bid let's see the free range eggs here's that countdown that i have there I can see the percentage here simply because that's where I've um, uh, because I'm logged in as me <laughs> um, but uh, a picture this is a custom field showing when bidding closes for this item I can change that in each article current bid is a custom field and then I have these uh, RS forms each auction item has its own form and you can put your name in you can submit a bid and then so that's how we see what the highest bid is i just go in and manually change it uh and then when they sign up they get added to an acy mailing newsletter so we can send out a message later on saying what the high bids are for everything so okay da, 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 da. template monster what have you got here ivor for us Change, oh, changing registration form titles. User registration menu item under menus, system menu tab. Okay. Da, 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 da. Change the registration forms. Moving registration forms. Okay, so there's a helpful link for you for doing this in the core there, um, Imran. Login to Joomla backend, extensions, plugins manager, user profile plugin. Huh. So extensions, plugins, profile user profile which I have turned off Imran says he solved it hey look at that you're the all are here Ivor that is really cool I believe that calls for a tutorial doesn't it optional required website okay And then you can also disable. So you upshift, oh, okay. Registration administrator user forms and then profile for profile edit form. I did not even know that was in here. Okay, so which, uh, Imran, which component were, was it using?
Ivor, that is such a great link. I did not even know that that was there. Yeah, I have it disabled too. Uh, cool. Let me open up on another screen here. And uh, let's go to the links that you, the link that you just shared. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to open up, click up here. Here, I'm gonna, and I will make a new task. Ba, 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 ba. Basic Joomla, basic Joomla. Do, 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 do. Basic Joomla, basic Joomla. Do, 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 do. I don't know if that be a watch me. Well, let's just put that in there for now anyways. And we will see um, uh, fields in core registration in my attempt to be, there we go. Excellent. Woohoo. Solidress. I ever just discovered that. Cool. Solidus user plugin. Interesting. Juma. A complete oh, a complete hotel and tour booking solution. Okay. And that is where they have the okay, so then they have their own registration and profile thing in there. Excellent. Imran likes to work with breezing forms and breezing content. Hey, when I was working on this site, one thing that we wanted was um, uh, a, a page for people to donate by credit card. And so uh, trying to find something that would just process Stripe very easily with just a basic form uh, was there. I had some options. There's, a, there's an add-on I could put in RS forms. So I considered that. But I, I just really wanted to go with something that I knew uh, would work. So I actually used J2 Store and bought a, an add-on that they have called Donate. And basically what it does is you create a Joomla article, you make it a product. Uh, and this is actually a cool feature. You could put a product on your site and say, would you like this? Just donate what, you know, whatever you want to donate to download this file or make a donation. It does put the price that you set there. I had it set to zero and I'm using, actually use the CSS to hide. Um, no, I used a regular labs re-replacer to just take out the price zero off of this particular page. But uh, it just gives you this little nice little square here and then you can add the cart. And then you end up just going through a checkout process as you know, is usual um, through J2 store and I also register I also set it for guest checkout so people actually don't have to create a profile they can just go through and make one-time payment so that worked uh, that was a nice workaround as well also I gotta tell you guys I've been playing around with canva uh, you know I use um, uh oh what is it uh, i'll find it right here relay that and i got that through AppSumo, and i have more than it has more than paid me back in time save for doing thumbnails but i have some new series of uh, videos and uh, another channel i'm just working on starting up and uh, so i thought well I'll check out canva it is super nice for making graphics i actually went in and i made this matrosen helps it takes a village to rescue the Sneal family uh, graphic. Very intuitive. Yes, Chuck, I agree with you. So I think I'm going to be uh, buying Canva. Uh, they have a really cool team feature too for five users. So uh, I, my, I know my wife will probably like to use this. And um, anyways, yes, um, Canva is really, really cool. So um, that's something else that... Uh, I'm checking out. Oh, there used to be a plugin to use it. 
Okay. Uh, to use in the website for Canva, huh? Now they have, oh, okay, now they have a desktop version, yeah. Yeah, really, really nice. Uh, let's see here, Canva. Uh, here I am. So for instance, this, uh, that's the graphic that I made. Uh, this, and just, yeah, it was super easy. Uh, you can even animate things too. Um, I've got this so that it rises. There must be a way to preview it here. Oh, I'll play it. Yeah. I made it so that it would just uh, pop up. So that would be really cool to use. I just using the static version, but so many things here and elements to just move over, like put this there and um, probably an Im I can probably put a photo inside of that. Can I? Oh yeah, look at that. See, I just put this photo like right in there. It's just amazing. Joomla. Uh, oh, you guys are talking about domains to register. Chuck, let's see Chuck's link here. Get Canva, simple new way to design, free download. Canva makes the current Canva integration editor as a design a banner button to your Joomla WYSIWYG editor. That is cool. Nice. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bait and switch. Hey, here's look. Here's a nice shiny thing. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Page not found. Okay. But uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, these elements, like how many times you thought, oh, I just would like to put in a seal of approval and I want it to be like this and I want to put one of my photos in it. Uh, here's my uploads. Hey, look at that. Let's put my, uh, this, look at that. It just goes in there. Now that's not really great transparency around the edge that I need to alias that to better clear but man look at that now that did not exactly take the shape of what I was trying to do like that uh, but uh, this we could take this light how this whoops daisy delete that take that and look at that I can then I can then uh, it's just, just crazy. Um, Bjorn is saying F Figma. This isn't going to be like that thing that uh, Chuck just shared that's not available. It's not going to be a Figma of my imagination, is it? <laughs> wah, wah. Let's see here. Try Figma for free. Yeah, there actually there's a, a everything I'm doing Canva right there is free as well. Uh, two editors, da, 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 features, design. Oh, look at that design. Uh, modern pen tool. Design responsibly with auto layout. Augment and work with your plugins. Okay. Do they have uh, lots of templates? Over your pricing, because that's really oh files and templates. Thousand files and templates you can download. Oh, you can duplicate and remix events and live streams. Oh, that's cool. Community tab. Our story. Anyone in the world can finally work together in the same design file. Cool. Oh, 
Well, Canva has an API. Interesting. Uh, you guys are talking about the domain there too, Joomla, however you pronounce that. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be Joomla in Norway, right? Yes, lots of cool things to check out. Let me turn my uh, picture on my, here uh, and I'll go chat on right. So uh, there is a trademark on the Joomla name, Joomla brand. And if you, uh, and that is actually why Open Source Matters is incorporated. Uh, their purpose is protect the trademark. And um, so, you know, a long time ago, I read, read so any domains that have Joomla in them, you actually have to get permission from Open Source Matters to have Joomla in a domain name that you're using. And so, uh, of course, I did not know that. And then uh, I actually have asked for permission to use Joomla in basicjoomla.com. And uh, that was, uh, it's been a, it's been years since I asked and it's uh, slowly happening. That's okay, volunteers, right? Um, but I would probably not register a domain now that had the word Joomla in it, just because they could ask for you to hand over the ownership of it or not use it. And uh, so I just think if you're gonna build a brand for something, it's good to um, just start out with something that you get to keep. Oh, and Bjorn, you were allowed that, which is cool. Um, I've, I've, I have, Hobby Teresa, good to see you. I have not yet gotten my, uh, uh, got, uh, this, it's been very slow, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. I just thought, man, if I ever did have to change basic Joomla, I would have to, um, I would have to uh, do a little bit of rebranding and so there's just that, just that one thing. All right, so. Um, ba -da -da -da, back to. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Figma is pretty cool. I think probably I would go with. Um, Canva has been working really well for me. Figma, what are their pricing, da, 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 pricing? Up to two editors and three projects, oh, three projects, and then $12 per editor per month, unlimited projects for the professional one. And I think Canva's pricing, uh, let's see, Canva pricing, da, 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 let's see here, let's open up a new incognito window, and, uh, Com. I know some people have gotten got Canva for a one-time price. Oh, okay, Hobby Teresa, you cannot insert an iframe into the article. Uh, yes, uh, you could use um, uh, Sorcerer from Regular Labs, but you might also have that turned off on your site. Let me just see here the plans. Pro. Uh, Start your Canva Pro today, flat price. One to five people on a team, 158 a year. 260 Canadian per person per month. All right. Inter interesting. Uh, if you go to 10 people, 779 per person per month. Huh. Okay, uh, let's go to which have we got here? All right, so we're in the back end here. Iframes, I believe. Um, iframes. Do, 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 do. Just trying to think of where we're going for this. Iframes. Uh, the system global configuration. Text filters. 
All right, so uh, Hobby, if you first thing to do, go to Global Configuration, go to Text Filters, and go to your user group. So if you're the super user, check to see that no filtering is set for that. Um, because if you blacklist, there's some things that uh, are not allowed, and one of them is iframe. Yes, Chuck. So use the, yeah. You adding Canva button to your platform means your customers can create amazing designs without leaving your site. It's fast and easy to integrate. Cool. Oh, when you paste in the article source, it won't save it. Hmm. Like you actually can't click save. Save. All right. Because that's here, let's put this default blacklist for super users here. And let's go to YouTube. And let's grab a video to embed. Uh, let's go to this guy's video here. I know him. Question. He's which actually a gold panner. Uh, it, in my uh, community, uh, we'll go share. Let's get the embed file. There's the iframe. We'll copy. Let's go back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, now let's go content, articles, add new article. Let's go code. And let's go control V. Let's call this testing. Now, if I save this, are you able to click the save button? Now notice that got taken out. Now, if we go back to the admin, administrator, all right, global configuration, System, global configuration, text filters. Now I'm going to do no filtering at all for super users. Now I'm going to paste that code in there again. I'm going to go save. And notice it does stay there. Okay, so that's the next thing, depending on what editor you are using. Uh, Javi, which editor are you using? Using the core one with Joomla or using JCE? This is another great video topic to do as well. There's a number of places where iframes might be blocked. Okay, you're using JCE. All right. So the next place to look is let's go to a site that has JCE editor on it. All right. Look at this dark mode beauty here. All right. So let's go back to Joomla. Uh, we're in dark mode. Look at that. So components, JCE editor, control panel. Now we're going to go to uh, that. So edit. That's first of all editor global configuration. Um, I don't think this is it here. Compressed at the CSS. Uh, let's go to close. Let's go to Editor Profiles, go to the default one, or whichever one you're trying to use that you're assigned as. And then, this is really different in dark mode, isn't it? 
Now go to do, 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 do. editor parameters. Uh, clean up. No. Topography. Nope. File system. Nope. And advanced. Prohibited elements. No. Old blocks. All right, let's go plug in parameters. You think it's advanced, Bjorn? I'm advanced. Uh, check in prohibited elements. See if, see if, uh, so under, okay, editor parameters, advanced. See if iframe is listed in there. Um, also, plugin parameters, I believe, if we go to, oh wow, this is like really hard to find things. I'm so used to finding things that are bright. Um, let's go to code editor. Do, 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 do. Um, ba, 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 ba. yeah, hold up for a second, you guys. Let's just go here and let's edit this here. I'm going to take that out and refresh here. Refresh and get back to the light mode. All right, so plug-in parameters. You have to include iframe and advanced. Editor parameters, advanced, prohibited. See, I can I can save iframes on this site because it's not prohibited. Um, Teresa, do you have uh, do you have it? Is it listed in the prohibit uh, prohibited elements there? Do 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 do. do. Can't paste it. Oh, okay. Huh. You're not able to even paste it in there. That's different. There's a tracker inside the code inside the code of what you're trying to paste or hmm yeah 
Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a new one. Oh, you can't paste it in the chat either. Okay. Um, are you able? So, are you able to paste it into Joomla though, into the article? And it's just not saving, or you can't even paste it there. Hey Stacy. Thank you for the kind words. I'm 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 glad that they're helping. Stacy, where are you in the world? Where are you watching from? It's an affiliate link has to be original code. All right, so sorcerer might be the um, sorcerer might be the way to go. Um, let's see, regular labs. Okay, we're at regularlabs.com sorcerer, and uh, you paste it right in the front of your article. So let's do, you could try this. So components, let me make sure I have it on here. Regular labs, extension manager. And let's see, sorcerer is installed. So here, watch this. If I go to content articles, add a new article. Down at the bottom here, sorcerer puts this code button. And then you can do this and in your code this is where you paste your iframe and go insert and what happens is inside of your code you see it says source and then it has iframe but i'm still not sure if your site set up to not allow um iframes this still might not work but it does allow you in the front end to paste it you're not putting it in the in the code here. You're putting it in the editor. And uh, let's testing. Let's check this out here. And then go save. And I think that oh, I might be timed out on. I might be logged out on the site here. Oh, Bjorn says it will work. Okay. So that might just be an easier way to, to do it, especially since you're using an affiliate code, because there's some workarounds for, there's some workarounds for um, uh, YouTube videos, but yeah, if you're putting an affiliate code in, then try that. Uh, out of curiosity, if you want, you could email me that code, uh, tim at cybersalt.com. And I could uh, play around with it and see if we can get it going here. But tim at cybersalt.com. Yes, and in JCE Editor, there's a, uh, you can edit and you can insert an iframe. It's this one right here. But... That still is not going to let's see. Is that insert edit? Da, da, da. Do I even have that here? Let's see if I post this here. Control V, editor, click. Oh, the me. Oh, here it is. That's the iframe button there. So you can edit it, but that's just putting in your URL. Now, it's possible, too, though, that if you can put in your affiliate link in there, it's good. But if they want the exact code, you've got to do the exact code. Oh, you can do it now. Okay, cool. Is that from making changes to JCE or, or whatever? Um, uh, 
Excellent. Trash. Trash that image now. That page. Good. Well, I'm glad, glad that worked. Oh, and you've sent it. Excellent. So, if you can do it now. So, let's see. Let me just get the uh, code here from my email. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, and now those that see. So what you've sent. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the wrong email. Someone else just sent me some code here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. No. Let's see here. Just waiting for that to come in. Yeah, I just wonder. Yeah, well, I'll wait and see if it gets here. When it gets here. Well, Imran, if he turns off JCE editor and uses tiny MCE, there's also some blocks in that as well. So let's look at that extensions and plugins. And let's go MCE. Tiny MCE, when we go into there, we go to advanced. No, let's see. Um, see down here, prohibited elements, iframe is in there. So you would have to take that out to use that in tiny MCE. The other thing too is that sometimes if you, some if you, if you, oh, there's the iframe code. Great, just came in. Uh, sometimes if the, um, uh, if you switch editors just to do something and you switch back to another one and you forget, then it ends up cleaning it all out too. So, all right, so here's the iframe here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so copy. All right, that's close. Let's go to content articles. I think in the trash, I just threw out that testing. So let's restore it. And we will uh, exit the trash here. Testing. And we'll go in there. The hamsters are running. So let's go code. Control A, delete that. So we're gonna paste. There's the code you just sent me. And we will just give that a save. And see if that stays in there. Yes, it did stay. And uh, of course, that's not showing anywhere at all because it's very. Oh, and now it's gone. Oh, look at that switching. Okay, all right. Let's see. Control V. If I save this. It's there, right? In fact, if I refresh the page, it's there, but as soon as I go to editor, it's not there and I go back to code and it's gone. Ah, that's exciting. Now we've got a bona fide mystery on our hands. Components, so this is JCE editor.
Okay, it's just I saw that you said, uh, uh, Imran, you said, please turn off JCE Editor and use Tiny MCE. All right, well, we're going to solve this here right now. I'm going to go uh, to doc type, mix, da, 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 keep non breaking spaces. Okay, not there. So, editor profiles. I'm using default. And name to default users to front end manager. No features and layout toolbar theme classic class. Da, da, da. Okay, additional features media support, add support for object embed audio video iframe. Yes, so we want that. All right, editor parameters clean up. Your conversion validate is right. set to yes to format cleanup content based on the doc type selected below. Oh, it won't stay without content in the iframe. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's interesting content articles testing so let's make some text in there let's go code control V let's save that Let's go to the editor. There's text. Let's go back. No, it's still it still got stripped out. Wah, wah. All right. Yes, but Imran, if you turn off JCE editor when you insert the code and then insert it and save it and then go back to JCE editor, if you ever go and edit that uh, if you ever go and edit that article again, then you'll strip out the code and it's a real pain because you forgot that you did it or something so better for us to fix it here media support is there typography it's not going to be that file system this is how I just find it every time Thumbnails, watermark, text editor, no. Clean up and output. I don't think it's that. Do you think that it's just that? All right, I'm going to put that iframe in its own thing right there. Control V in its own paragraph. Save. By the way, it's a sunny day here at Cybersault World Headquarters. Switch. Nope. Still got taken out there. And if we do this and put a space in, go control V, save. Go back to editor. Yes, sir. All right. Definitely have something going on here. Won't be typography. File system won't be file system. Is already in here. Yeah, uh, Imran, yeah, you could do that. You could create a separate category and turn off JCE for that. A 
non-breaking line space you're saying. Plugin parameters, media support. Plugin, all right, let's try here. Media support. Allow, oh, allow iframes. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. We'll give Ivor the prize today. Allow them, yes. Save. Let's refresh this. I'm feeling encouraged. All right. There's our code. There's oh, there's the iframe. Nice, 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 nice. Save. And um, I won't preview this because I don't want to mess up anything that happened in there for links, but there you go. Give that a try. It definitely should work. And let... <laughs> yes, bravo to Ivor and everybody because we found that together. I'll t there, uh, the other thing that drives, not drives me crazy, but happens a lot is the file upload size. You can have an upload file size set in PHP. You can have it set in JCE um, in a couple of different places. So you go to upload an image or and it says, oh, this is too big. You look, blah, blah, blah. So that's another place there too. Whoops, the daisy. Now I'm losing uh, a blast. You, where's the chat? Yeah, it does have a lot. Yes, and there's a gazillion ways to roam. All roads lead to Rome. Yes. Uh, Chuck. Okay. Uh, now you have one. Now, I don't know what you're saying, Chuck. I am going to, though, add that to my little note here that I've added here. Um, media. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Where's that to put the uh, plugin parameters media support? Uh, making myself a note there. Okay. You can't get your compiled template CSS files to render in JCE. Yeah. I think what I would do then in that case is make a separate CSS file just for the editor and just always keep it up to date so that it is available and whatever you select an editor because it doesn't the editor doesn't I don't think the editor links to the CSS file itself I think that um, I think that it just gives you a list of styles that you can drop down and select and it adds them and then it looks for them when the page is called. So for instance, hey, that's first of all, let me take this code off of here just so I don't mess up Teresa there. Hobby Teresa. And let's uh, unpublish this, save and close. Um, 
Let's see here. So in JCE editor, Uh, editor parameters, file directory path, directory filter, CSS. Somewhere we're going to add this to the setup. Uh, let's go. Plugin parameters. Chuck says plugin parameters. Okay. Um, for the profile, default, plugin parameters, Style select, okay. What's the custom style sheet for this? So a custom style sheet containing CSS classes display the style select list. The classes must exist in your template style sheet. Okay. In your template style sheet. Now here's the, uh, uh, are they just classes that you're putting in? I have so much I don't do in here. So in, let's uh, test. Test. Test one. I mean, I know the dream is to just have it pick right from what you've got. That said, I think one of the things that uh, can make that drop down very cluttered is if you have absolutely everything that's in the template. But I guess if you're just doing custom ones, let's go save here. Custom classes. Let's do, let's open testing. Emerson is going to be upset with me because my my Chrome is slowing down. I should have used Brave. Test one comma. Think there's supposed to be a space there. Hey, so there's my test one, test two, test one, test two, 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 two. of course, da, 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 and then we, I can select that, I can apply test one, and now it's there. Hey, look at that, you can apply multiple classes there, that is pretty cool. Ah, and the code looks like this, P class, okay. So I know, yeah, so like I said, I know we want it to just automatically pull from our CSS. But uh, that is a workaround to just put it in manually. I like that. Especially if you're doing something, if you're going to have people using and you want to offer them just a couple of classes, like they don't need to see, um, they don't need to see footnote, blah, 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 blah. And Bjorn's got an article there. How to use the Joomla content editor to add styles to my website. There you go. Oh, look. You, <laughs> I absolutely did not. That. See, great minds think alike. Uh, 
because when I went test, I went test, test one, test two, and you went, uh, uh, I went, and you went test, test two, test three. Lucian, hello, good to see you. Thanks for coming by today. We were just playing around putting some uh, classes in JCE editor. But definitely, uh, that would be something to ask Chayton about compiled CSS um, for uh, for that working in JCE editor. It saved. Now, I guess hopefully at some point, um, at some point the site gets finished and you don't need to keep changing the CSS and you can just work with the core amounts that you want on the editor. So that, uh, so there's that, um, do, 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 or screen over here. Yeah. You think, uh, asteroids really slammed? Oh yeah. Go, yeah. You know, I got to figure out how to, uh, I have to start using GitHub just to give them some feedback on some things as well. I don't want to just keep bothering Chaitin in my everyday chats with him, but, um, uh, Oh, you've had two posts in for five days. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not... Um, yeah, with Joom Dev. Okay. I'll... Uh, uh, I'll ask... I don't know. Maybe something... Maybe they have been super busy. Who knows? Um, maybe they're all at the farmer protest. Chayton was telling me that he went to the farmer pro uh, the pr protest... This is like a month ago. It's like four kilometers long or something like that that's taking place. Uh, I don't know if he's in. Uh, I don't know if he's in Slack right now or not. Let's see here. He is there on Skype, Rooney here. I'm asking him here. Um, see what he says hey he says sure okay okay oh something's happened to him Chayton's falling down a well there he is how you doing yeah good let me uh, put my headset in here so a question <laughs> um, we've just been looking at how to get, uh, you know, in JC editor, you can have the, uh, your classes drop down when you're editing and select. Right. So, uh, I can't quite, can't hear you very well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. uh but, uh, with the compiled CSS, when asteroid compiles the CSS, it doesn't show up in the drop down. Everyone's saying Heidi in chat, by the way. Chuck says hey. Bjorn says hey. Hey. Sorry. Yeah. Not in the not in the spot. Uh yeah. I can you I don't know if you can do it with the compiled CSS. I mean I'd have to think you can't because the file's renamed, right? Yeah. And it's it's something that uh, is uh, generated every time you clear cache. So there isn't a, really a file name that you can just include and assume that it would work, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
I don't know. I think someone has asked it on the forum uh, before, yeah. but I don't know if you can do that that easily with the asteroid. Okay. It may have been Chuck that asked in the forum. He said he's got a couple of posts sitting there for a while. So, yeah. yeah. I told him that uh, I told him that uh, you guys were at the farmer protest. So instead of answering stuff on the uh, forum, you, you're you're at the you're at the tractor races. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. He says he's he's probably using... I've seen the video of the tractor flipping. That was me. Oh, yeah. I didn't see the tractor flipping. I just saw that guy doing donuts in the intersection. So Chuck says he's using JD dental template. So I thought uh, workaround would be just to put the classes that you want in a separate file that's not. Create a template.css file and include that. I think the editor includes it automatically. If you create a template.css file and put it in your default template folder, okay. the editor includes it automatically. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or you can include that. But yeah, the, the, the yeah. easiest solution would be to create that kind of file and use that. Yeah. Because the dream is to just have it using all the same thing. But I can see if it's compiled, it's just putting it in a, it's just handling it in a way that's just not sitting there. So. Yeah, and you know, I, I saw Gantry does it a little better. So Gantry compiles uh, CS, SCSS2, you know, the latest version of Gantry, but instead of giving it a random name, it gives him, uh, uh, instead of giving it a random name, it gives it the ID of the template style. Like, you know, let's say, it, so let's say if the template ID is one and the style ID is, you know, 17 or whatever, uh, it'll just say one underscore seventeen dot css every time. That way, you can rely on that file, and it's a better solution because if your file is cached or whatever, I mean that's what we're trying to get away from, get rid of caching. But you know, sometimes you have that issue with Asteroid when you clear cache and you refresh page before the cache is generated. It was in the previous version, so it's not in the current version because we fixed it. But that issue would go away as well because it's always looking for the same file mm -hmm. and it's not generating a random name, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chuck asks, any workaround in Asteroid Framework custom code section? No, wow. right? I mean, anything you put, it's all dynamic yeah. getting into the template. What you're trying to do is get this into a specific CSS file and you know use that in your template so no i don't think any of that would work unless you manually copied the generated style uh, css right and put it in a template.css yeah. file and use that yeah. so just that extra yeah. step to have to do it and i right. like i said eventually you get to the point where your css is nailed down and now you're just using the site so you would have just that static page and you're not going to have to keep updating it in that so that is correct yes Imran says, yes, Gantry 5 is good. He's working with it now. There's a recommendation yeah. for you. <laughs> Gantry is great. Yeah, yeah. Is I, I couldn't agree with him otherwise. Yeah. Good. All righty. Well. Okay. Oh, good spring sound there. Hey, you have a football yeah. up on the shelf there. <laughs> yes. Let me go. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Not in the spot, if I may. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Well, that was a good question. And Chuck yeah. says, thanks for the explanation. You got and it. And wait a yeah. sec. What's uh, Imran says? Nice shirt. No, no, that was me that said that. <laughs> we'll talk to you I later. Yeah. yeah, talk to you bye -bye. soon. Bye-bye. All righty. And hello, Yanis. Good to see you today. uh da, 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 da. Um, yeah so good uh, uh paste your css code in existing css file is that working in your website let's see yanis i'm going to contact you because i have um a site that uh, login as login as user is not working but the reason it's not working is because um, it's uh, in that site. Uh, it's a it's the Joomdal bridge between Moodle and Joomla, and the errors in XML or PC or whatever error coming up. And I think there's something funky happening there. So 
Um, anyways, I, it's one of my many things to get around to. You know how it is. You get working on things and it's like, okay, now I got to sit down and write this out and create access for someone and give a demonstration of what's happening. So it's, it's, it's on my list. But And I saw, I think you, uh, Yanis, you have in beta your new extension that uh, looks to see how many times people are logged in to their Joomla site using a profile. Is it in beta or did you uh, uh, did you release it yet? I think I saw it somewhere. I don't think it's released, is it? Hmm. Yeah, just um uh, uh Chuck, let's see if it paste this. It's it crazy using template JD Builder and Joomla. Yeah, you cut come now one of the nice things about oh keeping style straight, yes. Yeah, I can see that definitely. You're getting the flow of it. Speaking of the flow of it, it's time for me to get some breakfast. Um, I did another late nighter last night. And um, yeah, so it's time for lunch. And actually, I think my wife, I just heard her coming in the door just there as I said that. So that's good timing. I will go and have lunch with her. So everybody... Thanks for hanging out today. Um, dark mode, check it out if you're just coming in late on the video. You watch it it's when it gets published, but uh, it's great. And we solved some problems, some issues for each other. Yes, Bjorn, thank you for the idea of this topic today. And let's see, where am I half? Where, where's my. S there we go. Right chat on right. Yes, Mary. Check out Canva. It is very cool. Uh, Mary, I'm going to be in touch with you this afternoon. Check out Canva, but don't buy Canva. I'll talk to you about that. Uh, got some things to catch up on. And Mary, you've been there the whole time. That's nice. Thanks for uh, adding to the watch time by lurking. Appreciate that. Uh, Hobby, that's good that we got you sorted out there. And um, yeah, you have a good day, Yanis. Everybody, let's see here. Yeah, so uh, I hope that you're, let's just make sure to get the screen. Yeah, 2.48 a.m. Yes, Imran, get some sleep. It's almost bedtime for you. That's getting close to my bedtime. Good morning. Yeah, so I hope everything is well where you are, be it morning, afternoon, or evening, or tomorrow which is where Imran is now. Until the next time, enjoy your Juma sites and God bless.